Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. So if you guys saw my video yesterday, I posted a commentary, an old school throwback World of War uh, commentary where I kind of just talked about the game in the past and, and where I was back in the day playing Call of Duty. And it was nice to be able to just speak my mind. And, uh, and not really have a goal for the video. I was just speaking and, and kind of reminiscing. And it was nice. And I wanted to do the same thing today because I have a really awesome story I wanted to share with you guys. So the last couple of days and what really led me into making that video yesterday is I've been watching a ton of old school videos from way back when. And, uh, and I've been watching a ton of Machinima Respawn videos uh, with CNNR, Sark, and Hutch. Team Respawn, I've been watching so many videos. And it's really been bringing up so many memories. And it's been so great to be able to go back and kind of relive those moments and see those videos from, from six, seven, eight years ago. And I wanted to share that with you because I feel like so many people that watch my videos are so young and have that they didn't experience the golden age of Machinima Respawn. If any of you are watching this video and you were lucky enough to, to be in the YouTube scene and watching videos back when CNN or Sark and Hutch were together back in 2010 was the prime time. I think they started in 20, 2009. Uh, but 2010 is when they were really popping off. They were at their peak and, uh, and dude, it was, it was incredible. It was so much fun. And, and I really like at the time I thought like, this is the best it can get. And obviously YouTube has grown so much since then. And looking back, you know, it was so crazy to look back and see that their videos had like a hundred thousand views, 200,000 views. And at the time that was astronomical. That was like, dude, everyone on YouTube is watching this video. And now for a YouTuber at that level to get a hundred thousand views is horrible. <laughs> it's crazy to see how, how far YouTube has come. Um, but I, I specifically remember, I think one of the best memories I have is being in 10th grade. I'm currently a senior in college now, uh, but I was, I was in 10th grade in high school and I wasn't in the band, but I had a few friends that were in the band. And back in my high school, there, there was in the mornings before school started, a lot of people would stand in the lobby and just talk. And that's kind of what everyone did. But in the band room or in front of the band room, there was another hallway. And most of the band kids would sit in that hallway and they would kind of just chat, do whatever. Um, but I felt like more comfortable in that hallway to sit down and watch YouTube videos instead of like sitting in the middle of the lobby. So I would go to the band hallway where some of my friends were and I would sit down and I would put my, he my headphones in. And I would watch Machinima Respawn videos and I would watch these guys and I was like, yo, I want to meet these guys. I want to be a part of Machinima Respawn. Like this is insane. And at the time they were the top dog, right? Like it was almost impossible to get in, to even get a partnership. And, uh, and that was really who I looked up to. And I remember they came out with videos every Tuesday and Thursdays. And then they started doing like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And every Friday they had a premiere director. And it was just, it was a crazy experience. Basically, if you never got to see this show, I'm going to leave links in the description so you, can, so you can go check it out for yourself if you never got to experience that. But basically, it was this show where they had directors that uploaded videos on the network. And, uh, and what they would do is twice a week, they would make videos where they would promote the director's videos and they would shout out the best ones that they liked of the week. And they would just kind of do a funny video and they would just be hilarious. They were just themselves and they would shout out these videos, say what they liked about them, talk about new directors. And, uh, and they would just go to different locations every episode. They would just shoot out in the middle of LA somewhere. And it was so fun to watch this. And I remember thinking like the things that I would do for this job, and unfortunately, Machinima is at a point now, and I'm not, not I'm not trying to bad talk Machinima. Obviously, I'm I'm still with their network, but it's not the same anymore. Machinima Respawn is long gone. And I don't think they've posted on the channel in over like two years, um, but it's not the same anymore, unfortunately. But I remember looking back and thinking, man, if I could, if this was my job, I would be the happiest person in the world to be able to play games and make videos and talk about other people making videos. It just looked like so much fun. And, uh, and it was cool to be able to go back and, and see some of those videos. Again, I'm going to link a ton of these videos down below because I really want you guys to go check this out. Um, it, for those of you that were in the YouTube scene at the time and watched Sark, Seniors, and Hutch together, be honest. Don't even lie. That was the best time on YouTube. <laughs> those were the best guys to watch. And it, it, like I crack up thinking about it because I remember how much fun I, I had watching their videos. I would literally sit in my room and wait. Like on Thursdays, I specifically remember Thursdays. I would come home from school and I would sit there and I would wait for them to post a video. And I would just like refresh until the video was uploaded. And then I'd watch it like four times because just because of how obsessed I was with their network. And, uh, and I remember that I, I just would do anything to get with Machinima, right? I was like, I want to be with this network. And I started posting tons of videos and I, I started grinding and I was like, I need to do, I need to get with this company. And that was like my number one goal was to be able to say that I worked for Machinima. And, uh, and two years later in 2012, I actually got there and I got a partnership. I got an email 
and uh, and Machinima has been through so much since then. But at this point in time, Machinima was was way up there. I mean, it was the top dog, the best company. Everyone knew who Machinima was. And uh, I remember it was just like, it was life changing. When I got that partnership, I thought like I had beat the world. Like it was crazy. And, uh, and it was so cool. It's been like four years since then, but it was a long journey. It was so cool to be able to set my mind to that and to be able to achieve that. I felt like I was on top of the world, but it, it's so cool aside from that to see like how far YouTube has come and just looking back. And it's so cool to go back and watch some of those old Machinima Respawn videos because there are so many hundreds and hundreds of videos. And then APL came in and they started doing Respawn Inbox and there's just so many videos to watch. And if you haven't, if you weren't a part of that day on YouTube, if you weren't alive <laughs> or, or you weren't like watching YouTube videos at that point in time, then I highly encourage you to go check these guys out. So much fun. So much fun was had watching these dudes. And uh, and I thought that I would dedicate a video to it. Um, really, really cool. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys kind of just en enjoyed this chat. I don't know what this was, but I, I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. But again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?